Hello everyone and welcome to my intuitive energy channel and I'm an intuitive so um and if you've seen some of my videos before I kind of pick up on people's energies and uh you know it's like that sixth sense that you have that you pick up straight away you know a gut feeling but a little bit stronger than that with with me anyway and um and i wanted to explore this emma because i do pick up pick up on something a little bit off with this emma and you know i'm going to be careful what i do say here on youtube and i'm just going to you know share with you my um my uncomfortable in you know gut feelings about her um first of all she strikes me as for this bbc interviews that that you know when the bbc was there interviewing paul and um and emma it, it, it appeared that she she was gradually it seemed to me as if she was gradually morphing into uh nicola or nicola whichever way you pronounce that uh, i know that sounds a bit weird but it is weird it is a bit strange and it's also a little bit strange to spend hours you know prior to these interviews making sure that you've got really thick luscious false eyelashes on before you're interviewed and to make sure that you've got you know your eye makeup or your makeup in place and it wouldn't surprise me if she didn't get some makeup artist artist to to actually make her up before she you know before she was interviewed and what does this say about about her you may say well no she just likes false eyelashes so do i but don't you find it slightly she's supposed to be a very professional lady don't you find it slightly inappropriate that you spend if you're doing it yourself i mean i've never put on false thick luscious eyelashes on not for anybody but um you know you, you got to stand at the mirror and do the eyeshadow the the you know the compact powder on your skin and and um the eyeliner and all that was taken quite a long time and the process of putting that on would you feel like that when your best friend has just been found dead um, or is missing? And, um, you know, the, the hypothesis is that she's drowned. Is that something you would do is to spend an hour or so getting yourself dolled up for an interview with the BBC? Um that just doesn't sit right with me um i don't know about you ladies what you feel about that uh, but as as we go through this these images here um i mean i picked out these images because it's slowly each time you see her she you know she's she's got different lengths to her hair it's like she's got a short bob or something and she's added um she's added some wig to her hair or um her hair extensions to her hair to make her hair longer and also the hair color is morphing into gradually the same color as nicola's uh, to the point of um, the interview, her hair is 
tied back and what I can see with the air extension she's also back combed her hair to make her hair look thicker and when you look at um, I haven't got a photograph here of uh, Nicola but when you look at Nicola's hair it's a lot thicker it's, it's quite thick and luscious and um, you know it's like effortless the way that she ties her hair back in the mornings it's like doing the school run tying her hair back whacking it in a hairband it's like it's like she doesn't even think about it but with this one it's like she spent ages back combing her hair to make it look thicker like like um and, and then tying it up in a ponytail and it, it seems like to me as if she's gradually morphing into it's like you know now we've got rid of her i can i can step into her shoes um that's how this is this is coming across to me it all seems a little bit uh like that film you know sink single white female um It just feels like it just doesn't sit right with me. The way that she's so confident, you know, if she's her best friend, she'd be breaking down. I don't want to speak to the BBC. I, I don't feel up to it. In fact, it's made me feel so ill at all of this to think that this may have happened to her. Um, but instead, she's there with her false eyelashes on, um, a, a bouffant hairstyle, uh, hair extensions, and uh, long, thick eyelashes. What's your thoughts on this, guys? Is that someone who is mourning a best friend? Would you even feel like putting makeup on? Would you even feel like doing that? If something like that's happened to your friend. Um, so I'm picking these energies up about Emma. I'm, they're not sitting comfortably with me, especially with the intuitive side of it. Tell me what your thoughts are. Please put your comments in the comments section. And also share. And, um, you know, what if you do on YouTube, I'm just doing this because I'm sharing my energies of, of, you know, not my thoughts as such. Well, I guess it is my thoughts, but it's my intuitive gut feelings that feel, you know, that instinctive feeling that something's off here. And I'll leave it there. Bye for now.